all right everyone so in this video we will be uh, we will be discussing what is a deadlock in operating system why deadlock occurs and how to visualize a deadlock in operating system it's a normal condition uh, in operating system which occurs and uh, we can resolve the in the next coming videos we will try to understand how we can resolve a deadlock so what is a deadlock deadlock means if a process is unable to change its waiting state indefinitely reason because it is requesting for a resource which might be held by another resource for example let's say you are in a party all right you want to for example eat rice so this is rice you want to eat in order to eat rice you need a plate and then you need also need a spoon or fork got it so for example somebody took the plate and you have this is you you got the fork or a spoon now there is no other plate no other spoon no other fork now, for example, you want to eat rice and you need both of the items and you're requesting that guy, hey, can you please give me your plate? And that guy is asking you, can you give me your spoon or the fork? And both of you are not decided. I mean, you guys are not stepping down. So the problem is this situation is called deadlock. And this sort of thing can occur in operating system as well. How? So let's write a definition first and then I will try to explain you with some better example. So if... If a process, if a process is unable to change its waiting state, its waiting state indefinitely, indefinitely because the requested resource, requested resource is held by another waiting process all right so for example you were waiting for a spoon uh, for a plate and the other guy who has the plate is waiting for a fork or a spoon which you have so this is like a condition in deadlock so in deadlock and how practically it looks like so imagine we got two processes. let's say i have a process p1 and then let's say i have a process p2 in order to execute process p1 we need two resources for example you need printer and second let's say you need uh, we need uh, um, scanner so for example we need two resources to execute p1 and p2 also required both of them so for example p1 like process p1 quickly acquire printer and process p2 quickly acquire scanner and start executing their stuff then what happened now P1 also requires a scanner which is hold it, which is holding by P2, and P2 requires printer which is held with P1. So P1 is holding this. So how it's gonna happen now? This is called deadlock situation, right? So uh, let's formally visualize this, how the deadlock typically looks like. In order to formally visualize this, we use a graph which is called resource allocation graph. So resource allocation graph basically visualize you, visualize deadlock. Like you can see uh, which process is have a deadlock with which particular resource. And just like any other graph, it mainly use uh, edge, vertex and edge. And you already know what vertex is so right so vertex mean nodes and edge is basically the connections like arrows right so vertex can be of uh, two types in our operating system it could be a process or it could be a resource similarly the edges can be like arrows could be assigned or for example request like a process may be requesting for a resource or maybe the resource has been assigned to a process processes are typically used we use square like circle sorry circle to represent uh, like a, a circle to represent a process like for example pi and resource can be of two types it could be single instance or it could be multi instance right single instance mean for example just one instance only one person can use at a time multi instance mean it has multiple instance of that for example registers for example printers you can have multiple printers for example cpu is single instance got it assign for example if the arrow direction let's say if arrow direction is from resource to process it means that resource has been allocated to process if arrow direction is from process 
to a resource, then it means process the requesting for that particular resource. Uh, let's have a small overview of that, like how it typically looks like. So for example, let's say we got a resource R1 and we have a resource R2. R1 is also single instance, R2 is also single instance. Let's say R1 is allocated to process P1 and P1 is requesting for R2. You guys see the arrow direction? And R2 is allocated to process P2 and P2 is requesting for a resource R1. If you guys see, this is called basically a deadlock. So for example, if we have a cycle there, if you have a cycle, there is a high, high chance of deadlock. I mean, you cannot say 100% deadlock will occur, right? Reason why I'm saying so, for example, if it is a single instance, like for example, single instance, then 100% deadlock. But if it would be a multi-instance, like multiple people or multiple processes can access that altogether simultaneously, then there would be a chance of having a deadlock. Right. So uh, in the next video, we will be uh, trying to understand uh, how we can avoid deadlock. What are the conditions? Why deadlock occur and how we can avoid the deadlock from happening? Right. So, so thank you so much.